Frank. I know where he's headed. Well, what do you have for me, candidate, huh? Is he here? You've been around ever since I had a memory. But I could always tell Pop he didn't trust you completely. Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about, son? They say it takes one to know one. A couple of two-faced guys pretending to be heroes. <laughs> uh, this coming from a, a politician? You set up my brother. Is that what he told you? It's what I know, Frank. Oh, come on. Then you also know he's a thug and he can't be trusted. I need you to clear his name. Yeah, well, that's impossible. Is it? Don't be naive. I can clear two names, yours and mine, and you know it. Candidate, you know it. Come on, what's gotten into you? <laughs> Aren't you thinking about your future? Man, when you're in office, I'm going to be able to do so much for you. Now, forget about this mayor shit. Governor DuPont. Huh? Governor DuPont, come on! Do what I said. Clear our names, you retire, and we walk away from this. It sounds to me like you're threatening me. Is this, are you fucking threatening me? Is that the deal you get? No. No? Yeah, because it sounds like it. Look at you, you ungrateful little fuck. You aren't even elected yet. You want to play? Fine. Then why don't I just take out your whole fucking family, huh? Wrong choice. <sighs> All right, kid. Let's see if you got the guts to pull that trigger while you're looking in my eyes, Sonny. Huh? Hey, where are you going? A cop killer? Are you sure you want to add that to your resume? You're no cop. Police have incriminating yeah. audio tapes connecting him and fellow officers in a string. Well, hello. He's thought to be on the run with authorities. Very if you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact your local authorities. Thank you. Son 300 mil dollars. Does this guy speak any English? Not a word. 
If I told them bilingual, how do they expect living in the States without speaking the language? ¿Cómo te amas? Yo me amo skinny. Bienvenido. He said, uh, send him to help us. He's very low, so whatever you need, Joseph. I don't trust this piece of shit. I didn't say translate that, motherfucker! Get in the car, okay? Super. It's a sad day in the community here, folks, as we mourn the passing of local icon and Vietnam War hero Bradley DuPont Sr. Leaving behind his wife Elsa and two sons, one of which I'm sure you know very well. That's right, it's candidate for mayor Bradley DuPont Jr. Right now polling much higher than incumbent mayor Richard Ross, whose numbers have dropped drastically in the last couple of weeks. The young candidate gave his eulogy earlier this morning at St. John's Catholic Church, where he spoke about his father's legacy and also the lessons he's left behind. Ever since I was young, I wanted to be just like my father, a compassionate individual, someone who served his local community and fought for his country. He was my biggest inspiration. He was my hero. <clears throat> The last thing he said to me before he passed was, Bradley, keep your family first, your country second, and yourself last. Those people can buy that shit. I won't. What was the real last words he said to you? I don't remember. A compassionate individual, someone who served his local community, Police Captain Frank Daniels hinted at his support of Bradley DuPont Jr. today at a press conference held at City Hall. Frank spoke briefly about Bradley's stint as a public defender and also the changes he's looking to make. Only two more weeks until it's official. After the current polls were released, so the young candidate has taken a huge lead over current Mayor Richard Ross. You better work on having that baby before I become president. Bradley Jr. hit the streets earlier this week, speaking to local citizens about their concerns.
Mind if I get a cup? What, you come here to off me, Frank? <laughs> Let me tell you, kid. Your father gave me that gun as a gift. Never even fired it. I think of it more as my lucky charm, I guess. Thought I'd give it to you. It's a fine gun. Mm. I don't believe in luck, though. Sonny, why do you disrespect me? Fine, forget it. I remember when you were a little boy, you and your brother, running around this place with your toy guns, playing cops and robbers. Yeah. Well, what brings you here, Frank? What? I mean, I can't just drop in to say hi to a friend. <laughs> Come on. All right. Your brother's political aspirations are starting to make some people very nervous. If someone were to do an investigation on you, would they find anything about me? Frank, I'm clean. There's nothing to find. Just keep it that way, all right? Learn from your brother. Is <laughs> these? They ain't no fucking toy guns. He was a great man. Tough son of a bitch. Toughest I ever knew. I guess war does that to you, huh? This is Sonny, if, uh, if you need anything, or if you have anything you want to tell me, you know where to find me. So we're really gonna tell him tonight? We'll just see how the night goes. Sonny, how's it going, amigo? Go on, babe, I'll catch up. I thought you were done with these people. I am. Let's go on. You look pretty, Sarah. It'll just be a tiny minute, okay? You want to fuck off, Joseph. <laughs> you that man. Oh, man, she's twice, yeah. What's up, Joseph? Out. Just hop in the car. We need to talk. Nah, man. I have to head back home. Why don't you try the Hop office? in the car. We need to talk. What the fuck is so important? Listen, I hate to do this to you right now. You know, so close to your father's death. Really affected me heavily too, man. But your dad and I, we kind of had a done deal. So it's the first time I hear about it. <laughs> Why are you fucking retired now? Anything you and him agreed upon, it just doesn't apply to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Here you go. You have no idea what's going on. Oh. Come on, man, you people are a fucking contract. Rita! Though? So, how is your brother's campaign going, anyways? Listen, man. 
whatever you had going with him, died with him. Do you fucking understand that? I should just fucking shoot you right now, man. You think you can just walk away from this and play house with your skank, huh? This isn't a good time, man. It's never a good time, man. My people are expecting the shipment in the south, okay? Now you either give it to us nice and quietly or we go to the next again. I don't care if I have to burn down everything you own and care for, man. I get what I paid for, okay? Now, you go home, and you think about what's best for your family, okay? Hey, it was good seeing you, man. So what happened with Joseph out there? Don't worry about him. It's my business. Can we tell them about the baby? Shit, Sarah. Not now. All right. I'm gonna go to the store. Your mom asked me to pick up the dessert. I'll go with you. No, it's all right. Just go back to the table. Spend some time with your family. We can talk later. You look so much like your father. How's it going? I saw you on TV the other day. He spoke so well, and he looked so handsome. Didn't he? That's death gave you some free publicity, huh? Sonny, stop that. The media wants to honor the man. Ask me questions, what do you expect me to do? Oh, he thought you well. Yeah, you too. I heard you're done with those extracurricular activities. I'll probably start getting questioned about that too. Those activities paid for your career. I earned my position. Is that what you really believe? Yeah, I do. Hey, can I be in one of those TV spots? Because I really love the slogan. Fuck you, Sonny. I'm not gonna sit here and have you question my integrity. That's enough, both of you. You really did inherit Dad's bad side. That's not all I inherited. I said enough! Sonny, you made your own choices. I'm gonna go walk my dog. All I have left is you boys. Ma, I don't have time for this. Is there anything I can do to help out here? Yeah. Talk to your brother. Sonny, wait up. You know, you shouldn't be smoking those things. Yeah, you give me my first one. Good point. So what's going on? Are you seriously out of the business? I thought so. Today, the fucking vultures came out to prey on what's left of the old men. What are you talking about? Dad. He left one last mess that I gotta clean up. But hey, thanks to you, I can't do it because I'm under investigation, so. Me? What do I have to do with this? Why would you be under investigation? Somebody's looking to throw some dirt your way. And what better way than to find some shit on your crooked little brother, right? 
Who told you this? I still got my contacts. Oh, damn it, Sonny. Every time I try to get this behind me, something's gotta come up. I hate this shit as much as you do. But I don't have any other choice. I'm done playing big brother to you. I'll make some calls. I'll see what I can find out. You're not gonna fuck up my career. You slow roller motherfucker. Just ain't your night, kid. Son of a bitch. Oh. Yeah. That'll spot me 500 more, man. Come on. You know I'm good for it. Evening, gentlemen. Evening, Briggs. Hey, how's it going? Careful with this cheating motherfucker over here. <laughs> the only one cheating you is your wife, Emilio. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Hey, you sound like my lawyer. <laughs> the divorce is almost finalized, though, guys. I don't, I don't need to hear about that. All that money that man made. His youngest son used to come here and play every now and then. Oh, yeah, that's right, with that, uh, the bald, the, the two-toned face Dan. kid. Yeah, Danny. He's a good kid. What happened to him? No. You gotta be kidding. He's officially listed as missing. But, uh... You remember that hothead white boy, Joseph Cole? Shit. I sure do. He's practically bragging to me about it at Ludwig's. Sonny was never the same with him gone. His father now, too? It's a fucking shame. I knew Danny. Went to school with him. Had a little daughter. Good guy. Jesus. So, uh, Emilio, I hear you're not at the paper anymore. Uh, place is a joke. Why? Because they fired you? <laughs> <laughs> that was the mutual parting of ways. Working on a major story, something that paper wouldn't dare touch. Oh yeah? About what? You mean who? No, you're kidding me. If I just raise the questions, people will start connecting the dots. You ain't got no story. You ain't got no fucking story. Need a favor? Shh. What's wrong with you, huh? Look, didn't I tell you to stay on the down low? Frank, look, it's just a one and done deal, okay? I'm just trying to tie up loose ends. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't do charity work, and I sure as shit don't do pro bono. But I guess since we're both gonna get screwed on this deal, you got me. I understand. All right, you got me. Put right here. Fucking kid. I never could say no to you and that baby face of yours. Huh? <laughs> I'll give you all the details when I get them. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Frank. You got it. Gotta get going. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, no problem. Briggs, 
I got something I need you to take care of. Pond. The pond. <laughs> ¿Qué es esa mierda, eh? ¿Eres puto francés o qué? Debe ser nuevo. Nombre de familia. I'll just be a minute. I just gotta take care of some business. I I promise I won't do all of it. Sonny, a prodigal son is finally here. Hey, you want some? No, I'm good, man. Oh, come on. So, you finally came to your senses, huh? Talk to Carlos south of the border and he's really hoping for you to come through. Well, I'm in, man. I'm gonna throw a little extra ammo for you. How about that? Sonny, you and me, we always do good business, man. Nice deal, huh? But as long as you understand that we don't have any contact after this. So no more following me to work or waiting for me outside my home. That kind of shit. <laughs> Sonny, I'll be sad to see you go, but you come through 100%. Stop squeezing your balls, okay? And I'm a man of my word, right guys? Yeah. Yeah, Joseph, yeah. We'll coordinate the drop for tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You don't want to stay for the party, man? I got you, girl. I'm good, man. I don't do business that way. That guy is a fucking faggot, man. <laughs> Brad, I've got Emilio Alvarez for you. Emilio, nice to formally meet you. Uh, nice to meet you in person, Mr. DuPont. Sit down. Would you like uh, anything to drink? Uh, water, no, coffee? No, I'm fine. Okay. <clears throat> Josh, would you give us uh, a minute? You sure? Yeah. Can you shut the door behind you? Thank you. I know you. Your father owned the hardware store on um, Selma Street, right? He was a good man, hard worker. He must be very proud of you becoming a journalist. Not really, but hey, we must all choose our own paths, right, Mr. DuPont? Please, save the formalities. Call me Brad. My associate tells me you have some urgent information you wanted to bring to my attention. Well, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Brad, I was doing some research for an article I wanted to write about your father, and I came across several testimonies and other things that just didn't quite add up. For example? Well, we all know your brother's criminal record is well documented. Uh, drug possession charges, the DUIs, multiple assault charges. That was um, a 
a very long time ago, and we worked through it as a family. Well, my source tells me about some well-known associates of your brother. Their record struck me as kind of odd. There's Jason Willis, who's currently serving time for trafficking ammunition. Joseph Cole, several disturbing charges. And then there's Danny Garcia. Now, he was a close friend of your brother's. We all know my uh, brother didn't surround himself with the best people. Well, Danny Garcia was also working with the ATF. And since then, he's gone missing. We were very sorry to hear about that. He was one of Sonny's closest friends for some time, and he's in our prayers. Let's cut the shit. I went to high school with some of these guys. You hear stories. So you're here because you heard stories? I've been following your career for quite some time now, Mr. DuPont. You know, that name means something in this town. Well, I sincerely doubt me writing about all this would benefit your race. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're getting at or what you're trying to gain from any of this. Article like this could make my career and it could destroy yours. But, for a price, <clears throat> willing to make all this go away. Just like Danny. So, you're here to blackmail me based on some crazy theories about my brother? No. About your father. You know, it all begins with him. And this is about his legacy. This is about your family's legacy. You write your little piece of fiction, and we'll tell our side of the story, okay? Fine. I will. Art class in it? Yeah, that's right. Um, you need a ride? No, I'm good. I'm gonna catch a bus. Hey, come. Where'd you get that? Front yard? Romantic. Look, I, I have to go. Oh, wait, look. I dealt with it. It's done. It's finished. Don't, don't mess with me, Sonny. I'm serious, okay? I just have to go meet with Frank. Tie a few loose ends, but we're on the clear. Good, that's, that's great. Yeah, look, I'm gonna be a little late. But... Don't drink too much. I love you. Cigarro. Sí, muy vuelta. El pinche skinny, ¿qué onda con los supons, güey? Su culero se tiene miedo. No mames. ¿Y el pinche gringo? Chingas tiene ese güey, parece que está loco. Tú sabes, paisa, cómo estos putos gringos se ponen. Pero aquí de adelante es puro suave. ¿Y para qué ocupa dos cabrones si yo y tú vamos y les partimos su madre solos? Como te dije, paisa, no te tiene confianza. Apenas me tiene sí, confianza. Señor, a mí lo que me sobran son huevos, güey. 
caída madre. Si yo no jalo el pinche gatillo, no duermo. Cabrón. Eh, pinche skinny, te traje la botella de vodka, güey. A huevo, cabrón. Eso es todo, güey. <risa> All right, Skinny, let's get the fuck out of here. Your friend ready? Yeah, he's solid with the guns. Street wise and shit. All right, you get yourself and Paisa to the safe house, hold down the fort. Entiende. See where? Excuse me, sir. Who are you voting for in next month's election? Nobody, man. But not interested. You're Bradley DuPont's brother. Sonny, right? You got the wrong guy, man. Hey, look. Those bags look heavy. Let me help you with one. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, I'm just trying to help. Relax. Anybody, man. Yeah, you moved up some ranks. And you're a fucking nobody now. Expecting you have good news for me. Set us up. No. Wasn't there another bag? He left it behind. Joseph, come on. There was bullets everywhere. I got shot in the fucking leg. No, that's fine. I need to go to the ambulance, please. You gotta take me to a hospital. Come on, Joseph. All right, please. No, that doesn't look that bad. Let me look at that. You gotta take me to the come on. No, it's okay. Come here, come on. Oh, it's all right. No. Come on, I'm bleeding. Yeah?
back. Sarah. Why don't you get off your head and be here with me? This is Franken. You know who it is. Where is he? My men responded to an anonymous tip regarding an arms deal. Now, when they showed up on the scene, they were fired upon. Luckily, no policemen were shot during the incident. And we do have one suspect, Sonny DuPont. So we'll take it from there. Right? No more questions. Jessica, we got to get out of here. This is really bad, Bradley. Uh, and it was it was definitely Sonny. I know. And he was, he Turn was that off. I tried to help him with the bags because I'm Just a huge supporter of Bradley's pot. And... Oh. Hey, don't you think that you should, you know, make a couple calls and set up a press conference? Press conference. Jessica, I'm going to think about the fucking campaign right now. Ma, where's Sarah? I'm calling her right now. Tell her stay where she is if you get a hold of her. Get Mom's stuff in the bedroom. She's not answering. What is that? What now? Both of you stay here. Sit down, stay here. Hey, what's going on here? Who are you? Got a message for your little brother, pretty boy. He packed a little bit light, so we gotta do another exchange, okay? What are you talking about exchange? Oh. I swear to God, you hurt her, you won't see the light of day. Give me one fucking reason not to hurt her. You have one day to get me my ammo. One fucking day. addiction and mental illness for years now. He had made some great progress. Unfortunately, our father's death might have ignited some past issues. Our whole family is devastated by his actions. We kindly ask the media to please respect our privacy during these difficult times. Are you sure you want to do this? Do I have a choice? All right. I'll send him in.
You know, it was uh, quite the coincidence that I ran into your brother Sonny last night. And that's <laughs> such an unfortunate time. What evidence do you have that Sonny was even there? Besides your word. Hey, you're, uh, you're Bradley DuPont's brother. Sonny, right? You got the wrong guy, man. Hey, look. Those bags in the cabin. Let me help you. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, I'm just trying to help. Relax. Turn it off. How much do you want? Thanks, Brad. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, you don't, you don't want to shoot me right outside your brother's office, do you? Oh, no. You're gonna drive around the back. I went through these documents of yours. Pretty impressive. Yeah, some inconsistencies, but a good job nonetheless. Look, uh, I made a deal with your brother, all right? The story's dead. You, you don't have to worry about me anymore. <sighs> bullshit. Oh, no bullshit. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Look, I'm just a journalist, all right? I'm not strapped. Well, well, brother. You are DuPont after all. <laughs> Here I was, about to uh, offer you something in exchange. I guess we are gonna bargain for your no, life. No, 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 wait, all. wait, wait, Sonny, 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 wait, just talk to me, all right? Let's negotiate. I've got skills, I can do things for you. We gathered some info on Joseph, but not enough. You kept focusing on the big fish. No politicians in his family, right? Well, I... Look, obviously you're good on the streets. Or you know the right people. Either way... <laughs> I'm not very good at being invisible at the moment. Word on the street is... The cartel isn't very happy with Joseph. You're gonna look into it for me. I don't have any contacts in the cartel, but I can definitely find out. Do you have any weeds or any? People I talk to, they haven't heard much. Just rumors. I can't make a decision based on rumors. Look, I'll tell you what. Let's throw in what I was going to offer you originally. I'm pretty sure at some moment you spoke to Captain Frank Daniels. Frank, yeah, I'm sure he came by asking me questions about you and what I saw that night, but I didn't. I didn't tell him anything. Well, I've known him all my life, you know. Corrupt police captain. How about that for a headline? Bullshit, that guy? I got tapes. My father kept them. He was clever. What do you mean? Look, man. You just got the big fish. You have a deal? Good.
understand the situation, Frank, but it's not my boy you should be after. These animals took Zara. You need to do whatever you have to do to make sure that her and Sonny come back safely. You hear me, Frank? Yes, he's here. I don't know. You can ask him when you get here. Okay. Goodbye. Frank is on his way. He needs to speak to you. What does he want to speak to me about? He wants to get your statement on the, on the incident with Sarah. How deep does this go, Ma? Why didn't you ever say anything? What do, what do you mean? To me. Why would you guys go so far out of your way to keep so much from me? It was your father's decision. He wanted something different from you. He wanted, he wanted to protect you. Make sure you wouldn't get implicated. I thought Sonny was the rotten apple. But no, this entire family tree is rotten to its core. Everything he ever tried to teach me was a lie. I grew up worshiping a man who worked for murderers, who put guns in the hands of murderers. All his lessons and values. He is just as responsible as any of them that pull that trigger. Your father did everything for this country. And what did they do for him? We are all capable of many things when we are pushed. I know you see things only in black and white. But you know what? It's never that simple. It is for me. I would never let anything like this happen to my family. Your family? We're your only family. And the most that we've seen away from you lately is your back. Sonny has been trying to sell the shop. He's trying to get his life on track. Oh, really? Sonny's a fugitive now. He must have had a good reason to do what he did. I don't buy it. I'm sick of the lies. Well, good luck with politics. I'm sorry, Bradley. But you should have taken this up with your father and settled this. But instead, you cut him off. I think you should come and stay with me until everything settles down. I don't want you to get hurt. You need to make sure that Sonny and Sarah don't get hurt. I will, okay? I will. Your dad may play a lot of games on this old table. So, still no word from Sonny, huh? No, not yet. Yeah. Jeez, I can't believe it. I mean, I always knew he was a wild kid, but now this. Look, you know, the sooner you find out where he is, the sooner I can clean this whole thing up. You gotta let me know, okay? I mean, I... I just want to protect him, make sure he's safe, and that he doesn't do any more damage to your career. Thanks, Frank. I appreciate it. Well, it's the least I can do. Huh? How about your mom? How's she handling all this? Not so good. I'm just trying to be here for her, especially after the threats. Oh, those assholes. I don't think they're going to bother you again. They're only trying to find your brother. I'll tell you what I'll do, though. I'm going to have a, an officer posted out front tonight. Make your mom feel more comfortable. Great. Good. Thanks. I appreciate That's that. That's the least I can do. Yeah, Frank. Well, um, 
I got a lot of work to do. I mean, major damage control right now. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. I understand. So, I'll speak with you as soon as I find something out, okay? Sure, kid. Thanks. Listen, man, I really need your help. Do you have to go around fucking up everything? Get up, you son of a bitch. This was supposed to be a simple fucking exchange. A what? A simple exchange? You fucking idiot. They got Sarah now, you know that? I know that, okay? Look, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna get her back, but I need your help. Oh! What a surprise. You need my help again. Man, would you fucking shut up, okay? Shut the fuck up! And listen to me for once. Be my fucking big brother. Can you do that? You're all over the news. Yeah, fuck. Frank was just here. Frank, that fucking snake, man. What does Frank have to do with this? Forget about Frank, okay? It's Sarah. She's pregnant. Did you hurt her? Did you touch her? <laughs> oh, Sonny, of course not. There's still fun to be at. I don't even know what you want, okay? I already delivered you the bags. Oh, you did. You did right before I got my fucking ass blown off, you piece of shit. Look, I had nothing to do with that. Haven't you seen the news? I'm a fucking fugitive right now. I need more Max, Sonny. That's the only way I'll even listen to your fucking ramblings, man. Joseph, look, okay, okay, listen. Let's meet. I'll bring the Max, you bring Sarah. Is she okay? Oh, yeah. She's perfectly fine, just hanging out. Okay, you meet me at my warehouse on Fifth and Fairview, okay? No, look, we meet at a place of my choosing. I don't think you understand the fucking situation, Sonny. I want to meet it in a public place where I know that we'll be safe. You think I'm that fucking stupid, Sonny? It's the only viable option. Well, how about I feed your girlfriend a fucking bullet? How about that for an option, huh? Listen, Joseph. You have the upper hand here. I have no cards left to play, and you know it. But just do this one thing for me, for old time's sake. I just need to make sure that she's going to be able to walk away. Okay, Sonny. When and where? Ludwig's Bar, North El Paso Avenue, 5 p.m. I'll have your max by then.
Wash your hands, buddy. soldados necesitamos refuerzos ya que putas vamos a darle vamos you remember Robbie oh yeah how you been good see you see you see you Ray I want you to come with me you and Paisi wait by the car watch that girl if anything goes down I want you to fucking rate that place okay stay ready come slowly I got you espera el carro con este wey y ponte trucha what's going on boss we get done with this little fuck, I want you to put Paisa on the ground. I don't like the way he looks at me. Okay, Joseph, relax, man. I need that fucking ammo, man. Carlos won't let me pay him any other way. I got your back, brother. Let's deal with this and then we'll deal with the cartels. You stay back here. Somebody move, you fucking cap. Stabbing piece of shit. You set me up? I told you this wasn't the best of times. Fuck me, man. So where the fuck is my girl? She's in the car. Hey, wey. Que clase de calibre carga? Puedo esperar un wey de aquí de cien pies, mira. Callado, ¿eh? Me gustan los callados. Eh, calla esa pinche vieja, man. Calla esa pinche vieja. Hey. I need you to be quiet, all right? Look, everything's going to be fine. Joseph's gonna go talk to your boy and then we'll let you guys go, all right? You know, if you were my girl, I never let anything like this happen to you. I've known you for how long, Joseph? Eight years? Ever since you started hanging out with Danny? Hell, things were running pretty smooth back then. <laughs> we're catching up right now? You were never nobody. You were only hiding in your daddy's shadow. Danny grew up with me. Hell, I knew him since we were six. He used to go on hunting trips with me and my pop. 
You killed him. Or at least that was the word on the street. <laughs> oh, he just had to take credit, right? But I was the last one to see him alive. He had that same stupid look that you have right now. Stop fucking around, man! I don't want any drama here. But I'll slang it out for you. Get up. Slowly. You never had manners, did you, Joseph? Sonny. Sonny. Hey. Stupido, vamos! Cúbreme la espalda! Sonny. No, no, no. Hey, hey. What did you say last time? That, um... That I was a nobody. No, I didn't mean that. You know what I'm... Shut the fuck up. I'm a DuPont. I've always been a fucking DuPont, and you're just a middleman who misses his deadlines. Hey, come on. After everything I've done for you... encuentro, Joseph. Give me your gun. No, guys, we, we don't have to do Shut it. the fuck up and give me a gun. Hey, Sonny, what the fuck did you tell him? What the fuck did he tell you, man? Todo bien? Sim, okay. Sonny, no, 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 Sonny. Sonny, Sonny, come back. Sonny, Sonny, come on. We were brothers, hey. man. Okay. Hey. Let me untie you. What'd you get? No, I'm not fucking okay! When you said this was over! I'm here now, okay? We need to get out of here, though. I'm here now. You promise! I'm here, okay? Okay. <laughs> Sunny. I got her. She's fine. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Bradley, everything all right? Frank, I know where he's headed. Well, what do you have for me, candidate, huh?
Is he here? You've been around ever since I had a memory. But I could always tell Pop he didn't trust you completely. Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about, son? They say it takes one to know one. A couple of two-faced guys pretending to be heroes. <laughs> uh, this coming from a, a politician? You set up my brother. Is that what he told you? It's what I know, Frank. Oh, come on. Then you also know he's a thug and he can't be trusted. I need you to clear his name. Yeah, well, that's impossible. Is it? Don't be naive. I can clear two names, yours and mine, and you know it. Candidate, you know it. Come on, what's gotten into you? <laughs> Aren't you thinking about your future? Man, when you're in office, I'm going to be able to do so much for you. Now, forget about this mayor shit. Governor DuPont. Huh? Governor DuPont, come on. Do what I said. Clear our names, you retire, and we walk away from this. It sounds to me like you threatened me. Is this, are you fucking threatening me? Is that the deal you get? No. No? Yeah, because it sounds like it. Look at you, you ungrateful little fuck. You aren't even elected yet. You want to play? Fine. Then why don't I just take out your whole fucking family, huh? Wrong choice. <sighs> All right, kid. Let's see if you got the guts to pull that trigger while you're looking in my eyes, Sonny. Huh? Hey, where are you going? A cop killer? You sure you want to add that to your resume? You're no cop. tapes connecting him and fellow officers in a string of corruption. He's thought to be on the run from authorities, and if you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact your local authorities. Thank you. Everything taken care of. It's taken care of. I tried to make him a deal. You know that, I really do. These people, they don't change. It was the only way. It had to be done. It had to be done, okay. Hey, listen, I really have to get going. You take care of yourself, and you take care of Sarah. She's a good girl, okay? Take care of Mom, will you? Hey, listen, uh... I hope you understand that there's a lot of people that... are not gonna appreciate the changes you want to make in office. So just... watch your back as well.
Hey, I, I understand now, okay? I don't blame you anymore. Listen to me, I should have been there for you, and I wasn't. I was a selfish prick. Oh, I understand. I'm just trying to achieve something better than this family. Better than whatever we got. Sonny. You know, you're nothing like him. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>